thanks God it's not Monday but a Sunday morning. If this was a weather on the Monday morning, we got woken up at 6 o'clock with very heavy showers outside the window and now it's just a drizzle but still overcast skies. So if it was a Monday morning and we had to go to work, drive to work, it would be quite nasty. But as it's a mellow Sunday morning and we are at the Marriott Resort and on our way to our favorite part of any resort experience, which is the resort buffet breakfast, then this weather doesn't matter at all. And as always in Phuket, even though it rains, it's still nice and warm. So nothing to complain about. These are all the things that we don't really get to eat every day because these are mostly Western delicacies. So smoked salmon and cheese and sausage. Nayang Beach is such a discovery. It's definitely not a swimming beach, but it's a photography beach and it's a beach for walks. Just beautiful. Even now, in the rain, or maybe especially now, in the rain. Back to reality from a nice resort back on the streets of Phuket. Uh, I'm in a truck, we just borrowed a truck from our friends and I'm going to a place called Surin, that's one of the beaches in Phuket, but I'm not going on the beach, I'm going nearby the beach to our friend's house to pick up a baby cot because uh, we are gonna have a baby in November. I have to borrow a truck and then I'm borrowing a baby cot. Something borrowed, something new for a new baby coming in November. I already picked up the cot, but as we are near by Surin Beach, one of Phuket's famous beaches, I'm gonna just drive down to the parking to show it just from the car. This used to be one of the most popular beaches in Phuket until around six months ago. There were restaurants here, beach clubs, the whole place was full of life. Some people liked it, some people didn't, but it was what it was, it was very popular. And then the current military government of Thailand decided to make a change. And what they did is they removed all the businesses from the beach. So the space that you see here, this were, these were restaurants. This was a place full of people and full of fun and full of food. And then they removed everything in one day. And now it is what it is. It looks almost like a wild beach. Beautiful. The water is beautiful. The sound, the sand is nice. But look there. It was all restaurants, everything. Like a human-made, man-made tsunami, leaving nothing behind. Of course, it is, as it is often the case in Thailand, uh, there were some problems with land ownership here. It wasn't certain if it was legally owned or not legally owned. Something was in the grey zone and so on. So they decided to clean it up. And here's the baby cot. Now all we need is the baby. Ah, 
After the heavy breakfast today, we don't really need much food, so we came to eat dinner here. So we're gonna get some meatballs and some french fries. We used to come to IKEA to eat at, in Bangkok. The one there is much bigger and has much better choice. Here is just a bistro. Jasmine just called this the best spent 15 baht ever. The IKEA hot dog. And I have to agree. And this is 25 baht french fries. Best french fries in Phuket with loads of mayonnaise. And mayonnaise also a thing that's not very much available in Thailand and if it is then it's usually sweet and disgusting but here at Ikea the mayonnaise is decent so once in a while we enjoy this guilty pleasure <laughs> 